My name is Chelsea Smith, and I'm a program manager for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio and an amateur naturalist. I've spent my entire life getting to know the world around me, and now I'm here to share what I've learned with you. Join me for this week's Camp Creature feature, showcasing snakes. A lot of people are uneasy around snakes, and it's because they don't really know a lot about them, myself included. While I do know some things about snakes, I definitely don't know everything. If I am out in the woods on a walk and I come across a snake, you're probably going to hear me shriek and you're probably going to see me jump because I wasn't ready for that snake to be there and it startled me. It happens, more than you'd think. Today, we're going to talk about snakes try to set our mind at ease about them, and hopefully after, have a better understanding. First of all, snakes, along with lizards, turtles, tortoises, and crocodilians, are reptiles. They have bony plates, are cold-blooded, and all, with only a couple exceptions, lay eggs. Snakes live on every continent except Antarctica. There are about 3,000 species of snakes. Of that, only 600 are venomous, and only about 7% of those which are venomous can severely wound or kill a person. And in Ohio, only three snakes are venomous. There are 23 non-venomous snakes in Ohio. They can be found in a variety of places, including in or near the water, in trees, on the ground, or really wherever they'd like to be. Most snakes are fairly docile and are nearsighted. That makes their sense of smell very important. When you see a snake flicking its tongue in and out of its mouth, it is smelling the air around it by transferring the smell from outside of its body to inside of its mouth where the Jacobson's organ interprets the odor. Snakes are also able to eat their prey whole. They do this by unhinging their lower jaw, which enables them to eat prey larger than their head. I have heard people use the words poisonous and venomous interchangeably, when really they are very different things. I've heard them say, is that snake poisonous, when really they should be asking, is that snake venomous? To put it in the simplest terms possible, if it's poisonous, you bite it and you get sick. If it's venomous, it bites you and you get sick. There are really no poisonous snakes out there, which means you would bite it. However, there are plenty of venomous snakes out there, and like I said before, in Ohio, there are three. All venomous snakes in Ohio are pit vipers. Each snake has small pits near its eyes that allow them to sense fluctuations in air temperature near their face. Compared to non-venomous snakes, venomous snakes usually have heads that are triangular when viewed from above, have pupils that are elliptical, have pits, undivided scales on the underside of the tail, and, except for the copperhead, have a tail that ends in a rattle. Although the maps you're about to see might show the snakes in parts of western Ohio, it is very unlikely that you'd actually run into one of these snakes on our camp properties. Out of the three venomous snakes in Ohio, the copperhead is the only one without a rattle. It is known for its beautiful copper coloring and hourglass pattern on its back. Copperheads are found scattered throughout unglaciated Ohio in rocky and wooded hillsides of the southeastern counties. The timber rattlesnake is one of the most dangerous snakes in northeastern America. However, it has a mild temperament and unless threatened, will make little attempt to bite and will quickly crawl away. If it is provoked, it may become aggressive. The timber rattlesnake is endangered due to human development and the fear of venomous snakes. It can be found in remote areas of southern unglaciated Ohio. The eastern Massasauga is a fairly slow-moving snake that, unless thoroughly bothered, will make little attempt to bite. Its venom is highly toxic, however, the bite is hardly ever fatal to a healthy adult. Although endangered due to farming, the Massasauga can be found in wetland areas such as bogs, swamps, wet prairies, and marshes throughout glaciated Ohio. The main takeaway from this should not be that venomous snakes are dangerous, but rather they and all other snakes should be respected. Snakes only bite for a couple of reasons. 
They bite when they're feeding and they bite to defend themselves. And they only do that when it's the last resort, especially venomous snakes. Their venom is precious and they don't want to use it unless they absolutely have to. Not all snakes deserve the negative attention that they get. A lot of times, they're just defending themselves. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys next time. This is Chelsea, signing off. Peace out, Girl Scout.